Testing. Testing one, two, three, sibilance. Yeah. Right? It's like, it's terrible. It's like roller skating music. Is this on? Slow dance. It's on. Slow skating. It's on, right? Yes. Are you recording right now? Yes, I am. Oh, all right. Right now, there's a paperback version of Social Nomics coming out in October. Okay. And since we're sending it out in paperback, we figured why not revise some of it? So we've updated it a bit throughout, and then we've added two new chapters. And also, I was real fortunate to have Scott Monty of Ford uh, write the foreword. So it was really good to collaborate with him because he's. Aside from being a social media genius, yeah. the guy's just a great guy. And it's always good to see, yeah, too, how well Ford has done. Yeah. Me being from Michigan, it's great to see how well Ford's doing. And a lot of it's driven by their social media success. And have you seen the new uh, the new Explorer campaign that they did? Yeah, it's, cr uh, it's great. That's really great. One of the things that's really cool about it, and Scott, this is Scott Monty, this is a shout out to you, is, is on the Facebook page, I actually did something really innovative that not a lot of companies have looked at. But to me, it's just a really cool thing. They actually took the Ford Explorer and said they had a like button for it, so you could like the Explorer. Yep. And they said, "Now, why do you like? What do you like most about the Explorer? Right. And it's because it's green, because it's safe, because all these different things. Yep. Really innovative use of the like button, which people have been kind of challenged with right. up until the last update. Yep. So they did a lot of cool stuff with it. Yeah, no, it's been real fun to watch the success there. Cool, cool. So. What do you think? Speaking of recent campaigns, have you had a chance to see any of the Old Spice stuff? Like a lot of people, I love <laughs> love the Old Spice stuff. One, it's humorous. It got it was a top viewed channel on YouTube for yeah. a couple months. Uh, but the most salient thing, I think, that's great to see is that their sales have gone up 107 percent. If yep. you look at it month to month, yep. and it's gone up 56 percent, I think, for the three months. So it's right. good to see this actually driving sales. And it's tough. You have to look at it. That's what I always talk about ROI. You have to look at it almost holistically rather than specific direct marketing right. mechanisms. Exactly. Look at what's the total lift. Yeah. And I mean, I helped them out. I bought some Old Spice products. So <laughs> You smell like it. You actually oh, smell like it. <laughs> <laughs> now back to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> what was interesting about that, what I find most interesting about the campaign is a lot of people on the social media, I mean, every conference I go to, well, I'll tell you, every conference I go to, it starts off with your video at the, you know, at the start of everything, right? And then we talk about the social, you know, the Old Spice stuff. But what's interesting is that entire campaign started with on, with regular TV ads. Yep. And people kind of lose perspective that, or I don't want to say lose perspective, right? but, you know, it actually started with traditional media. Yep. And how important do you see that in the ads that are, in, in the campaigns that people are running? It's very important. When you look at just social media in, in itself, is that it's not it's one-off. You yeah. got to have it part, be part of your entire business strategy, which of course that's also part of your your marketing strategy. So Old Spice was produced by Wyden and Kennedy, which yep. is which yep. was interesting to see as well to see a traditional advertiser yeah. agency kind of do a play and do it well. Uh, but it's very important. If you look at the Nike campaign that they did for the World Cup, yeah. So that little... campaign ran there. They had a two-minute commercial but they'd run the 30 second spots on regular TV. Yep. But what's beautiful is that you can't afford a two minute, even if you're Nike, a two minute spot on regular TV is just too expensive. Yeah. So they utilize YouTube to run that two minute commercial to get 20 million views. And so it's really cool to see people say, why the heck am I gonna pay for broadcast television? If I can produce this to get it on YouTube, I can run it two minutes in length yeah. and have it be a little cooler and also there's no media cost. Exactly. All right, Eric. So here's, I'm gonna wanna play a little game, yeah. all right? So I'm gonna tell you a name, and you tell me whether it's called hot or not. You tell me whether they're hot or not, okay? In terms of attractiveness or in terms of? Whatever you think. Whatever I think. Whatever you think, all right? So Jacoby Ellsbury. Not. <laughs> That's a good answer, actually. That was really good. Google Wave. Not. Um, I'm a hater. It looks like it, oh, it, really bad, I guess. Insect. <laughs> now back to me. Yeah, right. 